Hi friends, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Church at Home. Let me ask you something. Have you ever felt happy, scared, angry, or sad? Hmm, I know I have. Those are all feelings. And today, we're gonna talk about one of those feelings that I know we have all felt. It's sadness. Our big idea today says, when I feel sad, I can pray to God. Are you ready to say that? Repeat after me. When I feel sad, I can pray to God. Awesome job. I'm so excited to learn about this with you. Excited, hey, that's another feeling. Something else I'm excited to do with you today is sing about a feeling called joy. It's a song that reminds us that no matter what happens or how we feel, we can have joy because of God's love for us. Let's stand on up and sing. Hey friends, we're gonna sing this song, Joy. No matter what we're going through, we can have joy because God is so good. So let's sing this out. I will enter in your house with things. Let's sing out Love Abounds. Love abounds within these walls of grace. Let's sing out Mercy. Mercy riding on the morning. There is freedom in Moment. Clap your hands. So I will clap my hands and give you praise. All right, friend, let's sing. I'm letting go. I'm letting go of the fight. I know it'll be alright. I've got joy. I've got joy. Joy down in the depths of my heart, deep down in my heart. And I know, I know, sorrow may last for a night, but there's promise inside. And I've got joy. Cross has written. The cross has written now my story. Sin was washed to make me holy, and I'll never be the same again. All right, friends, let's stomp our feet for I'm letting go. I'm letting go of the fight. I know it'll be alright. Sing out, I've got joy. I've got joy. Joy. Let's reach up our hands and sing out, I've got joy. Here we go. I've got joy. Great job. We're going to sing out, it's my hope and it's my strength. So let's sing it together. It's my hope. It's my strength. It's my life. It's my way. Crushing death. Killing shame. Giving life in Jesus' name. Sing out again. It's my hope. It's my strength. It's my life. It's my Stop way. Stop your feet. Crushing. Crushing death. Killing shame. Giving life in Jesus' name. Good job. Let's sing it. It's my hope. It's my strength. It's my life. It's my way. Crushing death. Killing shame. Giving life in Jesus' One more time. Let me hear you. Down in the depths of my heart, deep down in my heart. And I know. And I know. I know. Sorrow may last for me now, but there's promise inside. And it's joy. Come on, sing it out. Joy. Here we go! I've got joy. 
job, friends. That was so fun. Did you hear the words that said, sorrow may last for the night, but there's promise in sight? That means feelings like sadness aren't forever because of God's love and promises for us. He loves us so much and cares about how we feel, and He promises to make everything good and perfect one day in heaven. Do you know how I know? It's because of this book right here. Do you know what this book is? It's the Bible, God's special book for us about real people and places from a long time ago. And there are lots of stories in the Bible that show us different feelings. There was someone in the Bible who was sad. I want you to put on your thinking cups and your listening ears and see what she did when she felt sad. Let's watch. Slapstick Theater, Hannah and God. This is Hannah. Hi. Hannah was married to a man named Elkanah. Hey. But they were not able to have any children. This made Hannah sad. Aw. It's okay. Come on. Every year, Hannah and Elkanah would go to the house of the Lord at Shiloh to pray to God and offer sacrifices. Hannah would cry out and pray to the Lord. She told God that if he gave her a son, she would give him back to him and that her son would serve God all the days of his life. <laughs> Hannah was so upset that one of the priests, Eli, thought there was something off about her. Uh... But Hannah told him that she had been praying because she had a broken heart. <laughs> Eli told her, may the God of Israel grant the requests you've made. And then Hannah was no longer sad. In due time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Yeah! She named him Samuel, for she said, I asked the Lord for him. Hannah did as she said she would. And once Samuel was a little older, she took him to the temple. Hannah prayed and gave thanks to God. And Samuel grew up in the temple serving the Lord. Did you see that Hannah was crying? She was very sad because she couldn't have a baby. But she told God exactly how she felt. And how did she do that? She prayed and talked to God. We can talk to God when we feel sad too. God loves us so much. Do you know how I know? Because of the Bible. I can't wait for you to see today's Bible verse. Just look. Oh, wait. It's all covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop them so we can see our Bible verse? Let's go. Okay, everybody. It's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait. That's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out. People, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side! That's it! All right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we got the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go! One, two, three, keep going! That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble! Oh, too many bees! <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there! Good job popping the bubbles, everyone. And look, we can see our Bible verse now. It says, the Lord is merciful and compassionate, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. Psalm 145, eight. This Bible verse tells us that God is compassionate. That's a big word that means God cares about us when we are sad. That's why you can pray to God when you are sad because he cares about how you feel. Let's stand on up and sing that Bible verse together right now. This song is Psalm 145.8. It is all about God's great love and kindness for us. This verse tells us that God's love never stops no matter what we do. 
so we're gonna sing out some woes together. Are you ready? Here we go. Sing it out. Let's sing our verse. Sing it again. All right, let's clap our hands. We're gonna sing out the Lord is merciful and compassionate. Let's sing together. Sing out, slow to get angry. Slow to get angry and fill with unfailing love. Let's sing that out again. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. Slow to get angry. Slow to get angry and fill with unfailing love. Let's sing out our woes. Let me see you jump. hands like this. We're going to sing that all over again. The Lord is merciful. Let me hear you singing this time. Here we go. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. Slow to get angry and fill with unfailing love. Last time, let's sing it out loud. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. Slow to get angry. Great job singing and dancing, everyone. God loves you and cares about your feelings. So when you're sad, God wants you to talk to Him just like Hannah prayed to Him. I know a scuppet friend who is learning about feelings too. It's Winston. I wonder what Winston, Jim, and Gift will build today in Winston's workshop. Let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and watch this. I'm Jim. And I'm Gift. Welcome to Winston's Workshop. This is a fun place where we imagine and build as we learn about God together. And today we have a mystery. Woohoo! See this bucket right here? Gift filled it with something very, very special. Yes, and I'm going to give you some hints about it. It's filled with different colors of one of my favorite things to play with. It's a little wet and squishy, and you can find it on the beach, but you can't eat it. Call it out if you think you know what I'm talking about. Oh, 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 I know. A sea slug, that's what it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Nope. What? Sand? Now there are three colors in here. Classic sand color, nice. blue, Ooh. and purple. Wow! So we each get to reach in and grab a color. Oh, then okay. we can build a castle. That sounds amazing! Ooh, I love that. I hope I get purple. Oh, I want blue. Please, 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 please. Blue. We will all reach in on three. Friends, hey. can you count with me? One, two, three! Blue! Here we go. Yeah! Winston, you seem upset. Are you sad or angry? Ah! I'm sad and angry. I really, 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 really wanted blue. Look at how beautiful it is. This is just... I know how 
how that feels, Winston. Sometimes I don't get the things I want either, and that makes me sad. But there's a story in the Bible about a woman named Hannah who was very sad. Her story shows us what we can do when we feel sad. I still feel sad, but why was she sad? She really wanted a baby, but couldn't have one. Hannah cried and prayed to God. She told God exactly how she felt and told God what she wanted him to do. We can do what Hannah did when we are sad. That's why our big idea today is, when I feel sad, I can pray to God. Friends, repeat that after me, please. When I feel sad, when I feel sad, I can pray to God. I can pray to God. Wow. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try that right now. Let's put five fingers here and five fingers there. Woohoo! And put them together, yep, for a prayer. Here we go. God, I'm really sad because I didn't get the sand I wanted. Pretty please help me feel better. In Jesus' name, amen! Amen! There are some other things we can do to help too. Like what? We can ask a grown-up for help when I show and tell people how I feel, they can help me calm down, make the right choice, pray with me, remember what the Bible says, and so much more. We can say, I am sad. It helps to say what we are feeling. Let's try that together. I am sad. We can also cry when we are sad. And it's nice to have a hug when you are sad. Can I give you a hug, Winston? Aww, yes, I like that. I feel better now. So how about we play? It's still fun to play together, right? Yeah, let's do it! And I got an idea. Let's mix all our sand and make a big castle. <gasps> really? Yes, that's so cool! Friends, we're gonna build this entire castle as fast as a race car. So, so you ready? Jump. Watch this! Are right, you ready, Winston? Here we go. Let's Three, two, two one. one. Wow! Okay, here we go. The big reveal. Oh, yeah. Wow! wow. That is beautiful. Ta -da! It's incredible. Friends, how awesome do you think this is? Show us with your arms. Do you think it's a little awesome? Little baby awesome? Or a lot awesome? Or a big huge awesome? Show us on three. One, two, three. Whoa! That is awesome. I think it's a lot awesome. It's the greatest castle I've ever built. I like it this much. So much, look at that, that's a lot of awesome. And I love that we built it together. When I'm sad, I really like being around my friends. Me too. Thanks for watching and playing with me. Thanks for teaching me about our big idea. When I feel sad, I can talk to God. Ha <laughs> Bye. All right, now let's build some more castles. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, this is so great. Winston felt sad when he didn't get the kinetic sand color he had hoped for. But Jim and Gift taught Winston some things he can do when he feels sad, like ask a grown-up for help, or say, I'm sad out loud, or even just to cry and let your sadness out. When we show and tell people how we feel, they can help us calm down, pray with us, and so much more. And Gift helped Winston learn something very important. He learned what we have been learning, that we can pray to God when we feel sad. So let's talk to God right now because we can always talk to God and tell Him how we feel. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Help us remember that we can pray to you when we feel sad. We love you so much, amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. Let's say our big idea together one more time. When I feel sad, I can pray to God. I've had so much fun with you learning that we can pray to God about our feelings, even when we feel sad. We'll see you soon, bye.